Revelation 2882, from the 14th of September 1943. Childship to God. Severe trials. Earth, as a place for further spiritual education, has been chosen to shape people into the purest beings of light, into children of God, who can attain the highest degree of happiness and the beholding of God. The achievement of this degree is only possible on this earth. Although other works of creation are equally destined for the maturing of spiritual beings which are not perfect as yet, and their degree of maturity can still constantly be increased, the degree of childship to God can nevertheless only be attained by the soul on earth, on account of which people are also confronted by the full gravity of earthly life and this is even harder the closer the soul is to its goal. The soul must be able to leave the earth in a totally purified state, spiritually reborn and in most heartfelt union with God. It must experience every trial, it must work and create with profound love for God and its fellow human beings, it must have surmounted all worldliness in order to enter the spiritual kingdom free and unburdened. Only a few people depart from this earth as perfected beings of light, and only a few people can behold God straight after their life on earth, for only a few become victorious over matter, because earthly life always and forever makes its demands on people and this is one of the most powerful temptations which approaches a person. Time and again people must try to liberate themselves time and again spiritual life must come to the fore, and every thought must be directed upwards. In order to attain the childship to God, God's grace must be able to be especially effective on people, a person must make constant use of the grace flowing to him without measure, he must accept everything that contributes towards purifying the soul. He must experience all suffering as grace and be grateful to God that his love has destined him for higher spheres and wants to draw him to himself. Not many people can achieve such a high degree of maturity that God can send them even the harshest suffering without becoming disheartened. These few, however, are blessed, even if their earthly life seems most difficult to bear for them. Their marriage with God is the most beautiful reward awaiting such souls at their death, and for the sake of this the soul will patiently wait until its earthly end comes. All burdens and troubles, all suffering and sorrow seem small once it is released from its earthly cover, once it is able to behold God and has become the most blissfully happy being in the spiritual kingdom. Once it comes into its inheritance of the Father as God's child and works with him in his will. Amen.